Aloha, my teacher friends. Um, today, I want to talk about Earth Day. So Earth Day is coming up on April 22nd. And what are some things we can do as middle school science teachers? So let's go ahead and talk about that. If we haven't met yet, I'm Flair, the face behind Aloha Money Teaching, where I um, help other middle school science teachers, including myself, um, be more intentional, prepared, and refreshed so that we're ready for Monday and any day. Um, but let's get started on this. So we're going to go over just some ideas on how you can incorporate different Earth Day activities into what you're already teaching or just easily integrate it. Um, be sure to like and subscribe so you can get all the updates whenever new videos come out and things like that. And any links that I mention or products, resources, whatever, that's going to be um, in the description below. All right. So Earth Day, it's on April 22nd every year, as you know, and um, it's meant to promote environmental protection and to help our Earth. So usually people will participate in things like recycling, planting trees, cleaning up trash, debris in communities. Like if you're by the ocean, you know, there's a lot of people that clean up trash along the ocean, the beach and stuff like that. So um, this is also a good time for um, people, including our students, to learn about environmental issues. So some ideas, like no matter what you're teaching, um, you might be in a chemistry unit, you might be in your atmosphere unit, you can um, easily incorporate something for Earth Day into what you are teaching. Um, you can also integrate this with other subjects like ELA, math, or even social studies or history. So we're going to go through each one and just to get some ideas on different things you can do. For life science, so there's this definitely lends itself to Earth Day since we're talking about life, which includes things like anatomy, botany, ecology, zoology, and just a whole lot more. So if you're, let's say you're teaching ecosystems, you can do activities about keystone species. Like how do we ensure that our keystone species are protected? What happens if a keystone species is endangered or extinct? Um, you could also, if you're learning about cells, I've done this for Earth Day. When we're in our cells unit, um, we'll look at different tissues for plant cells and learn about vascular tissue. So an easy way to do that is using celery and food coloring. We've looked at the stomata on leaves to talk about photosynthesis. So it's pretty cool um, the things you can do just by teaching cells. Let's say you're teaching human body. You can incorporate air quality um, and how it affects our respiratory system. And I have a resource in my TPT store. So this one is to, it's a protecting ecosystems project. So here students are on the Ecosystems of Earth Committee, the EOE. And their job is to protect Earth one ecosystem at a time. So in this project, they choose and research an ecosystem. And then they learn and they present about the ecosystem, um, human impact on it, and how we can protect it. Like, what are the benefits of protecting it? And they're presenting it to the Earth Day Board of Directors. So just a whole little scenario there. It's a lot of fun. All right, let's say you're in like space or physics. So here with space, I mean, you could just talk about our planet. So Earth, meaning like it's the perfect distance from the sun and the way it revolves around its axis, that it's the only planet that can support life. So what would happen if Earth was a degree off its tilt or if it slowed its orbit or what if it didn't orbit at all or rotate? How would that affect life on Earth? For chemistry, um, some simple things you can do is just using like acids and bases. Um, you, they could test the pH sources of water and find out how or discover how it impacts the environment. They can learn about acid rain, how it affects ecosystems um, or living things. And they, I, if you've taught acid rain to your students before, they kind of panic thinking acid rain, it's going to burn us, but they don't realize that's just the whole um, pH, the acids and bases. Uh, so that's something good for them to learn. And then the, using these will link to the topics of climate change and greenhouse gases. And it can also lead to discussions and explorations to protect aquatic environments. 
right? So speaking of aquatic environments, let's move on to earth and like oceanic science topics that you can do um, some things for Earth Day. So here you can, um, students can learn about the Great Pacific garbage patch in the ocean. So they could learn about ocean currents and why all that stuff is just over there and how we can um, lessen it. They can learn about El Nino or La Nina, ocean temperatures. So all of those things that are important to our environment. Um, when studying the ocean, they can study ocean temperatures. They can plan efforts to clean up and protect the ocean. And then students living near the beach might want to plan like an excursion to clean on the weekend or something like that. For earth science, um, maybe with landforms, they can celebrate Earth Day by learning about national parks or the natural wonders on earth. And then they can visit them in real life if they're nearby or take a virtual field trip. So for example, they could go to the Grand Canyon in Arizona, or if you're lucky enough, you can go to the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Like how cool would that be? So just going through, just visiting some natural wonders or learning about them. All right, and let's talk about atmosphere, weather and climate topics. So here, definitely all of this part lends itself to um, teaching Earth Day. So you can incorporate anything about climate change or greenhouse gases. Students can come up with ideas to help the environment and the atmosphere. You can discuss how to lower emissions, lower the carbon footprint, um, talk about what climate change is and what we can do for alternative energy. And in this resource, this is the climate change project. So here they are, um, so they're scientists and they're learning about climate change. So they're gonna learn how scientists actually study climate change and the history of climate change throughout time, like there are like ice ages and things like that. And then they're going to learn about factors that affect climate change, natural causes of it and human causes of it. And then some solutions there, they'll come up with some solutions to mitigate the effects of climate change in this project. So that is, and there's different, a couple different choices that they can do to present their project. So we just went over quite a few ideas for incorporating Earth Day activities into whatever you are teaching. So on April 22nd, just so you're prepared ahead of time. Um, so we talked about different life science ideas, space science and physics, chemistry, earth and oceanic sciences, and also atmosphere, weather, and climate. So what are some of your favorite Earth Day activities? What do you enjoy doing with your students? All right, and in the meantime, just check out some of these videos and, and have a great Earth Day.